All right, we're going to test these cleanup mats. I put this little cleanup sluice thing together last night. Something to put them in. So I got a little bit of cons. I screened down to a 12 mesh screen just to give it a quick test, see what's going on. So let's hook her up and let her roll. Already just put jet dry in the tub. Already scrubbed the mats down, got all the air bubbles off the mat. It's a pretty even flow. It's set at a 15 degree pitch. I'm going to feed it slow with just a regular spoon. This is concentrate, so try to get a, an even flow through there. Kind of like a Miller table. This is a 10 inch wide sluice. It's 1100 gallons an hour pump. So I'm getting just a little over 100 gallons per inch. And I'm already starting to see gold show up. This is actually a test of that talon mat. I'm actually going to have to level this up a little better. That's a lot better. Now I'm already seeing, you know, a couple spoons full. I'm already seeing gold all in here. It's releasing some black sand. Magnetic screwdriver. <laughs> but we'll get a close up the gold in the mat here in just a little bit. I did think about building a little hopper box here. I can just dump it in and then let it do its thing. Yeah, I'm seeing gold. There's a line of gold here. There's specks of gold all up in there. There's a few little flakes down here. Evidently there is a more gold than I thought in that cons or I'd have cleaned it up three months ago. It is clean gold up on this top. This channel right here, there's a whole line of gold here. You know, the, it's getting, starting to get a little black sand, but there's a clean line of gold here. There's gold here, gold here, gold here, and then you start getting into the black sand down in here. There's a little bit of gold underneath that black sand, but I noticed you put your dirt or your cons in there, and then if you just wait a minute, you'll see just gold, just, I mean, pure gold. The gold's staying where it's supposed to be. It's not moving like everything else. The water's a little irregular. You know, I thought he was crazy when he said 15 degree pitch. I said, there's no way, you know, I get this thing cranked up to 15 but it's working I mean the black sands clearing out of this line here you can see it dancing around and there's just a puddle of gold underneath it so I would let it run just a little bit you know get we're catching everything we can run it again but most of it's gold I got a little cordless uh, D-wall vacuum. With this, I had to hook it up to where I could just come in here and suck it out. You know, start down at the bottom and suck it up. 
But we'll shut her down. I'll explain this little unit a little bit. Maybe take some pictures of the mat. Of course, I got all that jet dry in there. I don't know if you see any gold or not. Okay, this uh, little machine, the mat's 10 inches wide. And there is 25 inches of active mat. The mat goes all the way up under here. It locks up underneath a, a deal. It's, it's kind of crazy. This comes up, drops down, comes up, comes up, and then there's a little mat holder. And then there's another piece that comes back. So this water has to shoot up, come back, come up, and then climb up to go over the mat. You can't, I mean, you got to spread the water out some way, so that's, and then, uh, I stole Doc's idea on the stand here. Everything's quick adjustment, so you can just change your pitches and everything. You know, it's kind of in the building stage, so I do have a few leaks. We got a little trough down here. Water goes back in the tub. When I was testing last night, I just soaked my counter, so, but. I got my gold hog equipment up there. This sluice box right here, of course, there's a ton of shit on it. But it's nine foot eight. There's another sluice box over here with Doc's mat in it. There's another sluice box in the, the back room. Got the gold hog up here, pans, screens, the uh, cyclone, or the gold cube up there. I got my buckets and tubs and my homemade little high banker dredge is down there. You know, well, I've got cons all over the place over there. I mean, just a nice little deal. It's uh, snowing outside. I don't know how well you can see that, but let's see if we can get up there. Yep, it's winter outside. But. Uh, you got their old fire going over there in the corner. Pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to get off here and put this stuff in a pan and see what we can come up with. I just rinsed out the top portion of this mat in this gold pan down here. Bottom still got stuff in it. I want to see how far that stuff's working down. You know, this thing just Push it up and locks in there. And then I only have a couple teaspoons of cons here. Way too much water in there, but just loaded full of super, super, super fine gold. You know, this wasn't even a, a half gallon of cons, that was just river sluice cons. There's just tons of super fine gold in there. So, for a cleanup mat, you know, I'm impressed with it. Doc's already got some changes to make on it be anxious to see it now this eliminates the gold cube you know I'll do some more tests I'll see how much is down here I'll pan out this you know I don't know quite if I'm going to get it done today or not I only come home a couple days a week so I'm kind of behind on all my maintenance stuff but I'm impressed with this new mat, even just like it is, you know, like I said, we do a quick test pan of this stuff down here just to see how far it got down on the bottom. Well, 
One thing about Doc's mats, but it's easy to clean. You know, I didn't even glue these mats, I just taped them together. So Doc, I try to get a video up. I actually got the mats on Wednesday night when I come in. I had to go put a gas tank in a, or a fuel pump in a gas tank for on Thanksgiving. So I didn't have time to mess with it. But yeah, nice, clean, easy to clean. Easy to slide in there, then it'll just lock up in there. There's a little bit of gold in there, but not near as much as the top half. I'd say 90% of it is from here up. So it's a hell of a good little product. Alright. Okay, I just put the mat back in and uh, fired it up. You know, we were having a little problem with my still not distributing the water out even. We got that fixed. But what I noticed is right here I got a line of gold. Right here I got a line of gold. Right here I got a line of gold. Right here I got gold. Because I didn't take the mat out and roll it in a tub like you do the big mats. I highly recommend that. Because like I said, there's just gold everywhere in this mat. Plus what I already got. And it, there's lines of it. So. But 90% of the gold was from here up, 10% of the gold was from here down. This is a little battery tray I use to catch my tellings. I will go through that again to see what, if I lost anything in that. 